guys, welcome back to another video from the channel, Learn From Basics. This is Joe here, and this, welcome to the first video on this, on the series on this channel, where we will be learning about OpenCV. And before we get started, I just want to point out two things. Number one, this course on the channel is completely for beginners, and I'll be explaining everything step by step, and I'll be explaining it at a level where a beginner could understand. But if you're a pro in Python and if you know a lot of uh, languages too, then this course will also be perfect for you. Because again, OpenCV is not that hard to learn. And no matter how good or how be, uh, bad you are at programming, you can still learn OpenCV is because it's because that it's that easy. So that's just one of the disclaimers. And number two, you will not need to know any prior knowledge to start this course, except that you know you'll need to know some little knowledge on Python, like the syntax and how to write some simple Python code. And you'll also need to know some basic uh, uh, concepts in Python, like if conditions, lists, while loops, and etc. But if you don't know any of that, don't worry. I'll explain to you all of that in an upcoming video, or in fact, the next video on the series. So don't worry if you don't know anything about Python, you will still be ready for this course. So all you'll need to all you'll need to know is some basics on Python and if you don't then that's completely fine. And I just recommend no uh learning Python before you do this course. So without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? So this in this video we'll just be talking about what we'll be learning in this course and all the projects we'll be doing and what OpenCV is and all of all of that good stuff. In the next video, we'll do a quick Python crash course for all the people who don't know Python. And in the third video, we'll start our OpenCV journey. And I'll, I'll show you what, we'll, what projects we'll be doing later on in this video. So first of all, what is OpenCV? Because I'll, I, I have been talking about OpenCV for like, what, the past, um, past two minutes. And uh, you probably, if you don't know what OpenCV is, then I'll give you two examples. Uh, Two definitions of OpenCV. One is not so technical, not so technical definition of OpenCV, and a somewhat technical definition of OpenCV. And if you want a really technical definition of OpenCV and uh, uh, the history of OpenCV, then I'll link down an article down below that'll tell you all about OpenCV. And again, don't worry, we'll talk about all of the topics in OpenCV later on in this video. This video is just about what OpenCV is and uh, what Python is. So what is OpenCV? Well, here's the uh, not so technical definition of OpenCV. OpenCV is a library that can be used to integrate the real world with Python using your webcam. So what this basically says is that you can integrate the real world with Python or like you can, you can get some data out of, uh, you can get some data from the real world using Python and your webcam or a photo or a video. Now this could be very helpful if you want to, if you want to like detect a person or if you want to detect a certain object or etc. So uh, what this definition basically says is that OpenCV is a package that can be used to use Python with the real world using your webcam or some pictures or a video. Here's the somewhat technical definition of OpenCV. OpenCV is an open source package or library that can be created that has been created by Intel. And this library is compatible with both Python and C++. And its main purpose is to implement computer vision. So OpenCV is a package or library that has been created by Intel. And Intel mainly focused on creating this package to be used with two popular programming languages, which are Python and C++. And its main purpose is to implement computer vision. So you might be wondering, what is computer vision? Well. You probably heard of computer vision, but you probably don't know the definition of computer vision. So here's what computer vision is. What is computer vision? Computer vision is a subset of engineering that is all about giving computer eyes or cameras because we can't give computer eyes and programming them to use their eyes slash cameras just like we do. By that, I mean that computer vision experts want to train a computer to get as much data as possible out of a given image or video, like extracting all the objects from a video slash image and etc. So what this basically means is, let's take a second to think about how we use our eyes. Have you ever wondered on how we use our eyes? Well, we mainly use our eyes to get data of the world around us uh, and our surroundings so we can, we can tell our brain what, what's around us and what's happening. 
so I can use my eyes to detect objects like oh there are there are there's an orange over there there's a cat over there there's a TV over there I can use my eyes to count numbers uh there are two oranges three oranges I can use my eyes to find colors I can use my eyes to know where when a car is coming and when a car is going to hit me I can use my eyes to uh, tell my brain, hey, a car is coming. I want to stop right now. And I can do many things. So a computer uh, vision engineer's main job is to make a computer use its eyes or cameras as a human or to program a computer to use uh, uh, its cameras or eyes as a human. So they basically write some programming or write some code to extract as much data out of a given image or video uh, g out of a given Im image or video, so they just use computer vision to computer vision to get as much data possible out of a camera, live feed, or video. So if you think about it, computer vision, vision is basically seeing. And what do we do when we see? We collect data, right? So that's basically what computer vision is. It's getting as much data as possible out of a given image or video using a computer and some programming. So that's what computer vision is. So what can you do with OpenCV? Well, here are some of the simple projects that you can do with OpenCV. And later on, we'll discuss some cool projects we'll be doing uh, that use OpenCV. And in one of our upcoming videos, I'll explain to you all of the cool projects you can do using OpenCV. So here's, here are some simple projects you can do with OpenCV. Object detection, face detection, object following car, face filters, integrating it with, it, integrating it with Python, which we'll be doing. Measuring distances using a dual camera or stereo vision, drawing things on an image, and many, many, many more things. Now, these are just some uh, simple examples. We'll be, I'll be talking about some cooler projects you can do with OpenCV in a second. So here's our course timeline. This is just like a simple model. Uh, I'll get into a text-based version in a second. I'll read it out. So first of all, we'll be doing the basics, which is basically accessing a video, the basics of OpenCV, the logic, uh, how we integrate it with Python, the basic things you'll need to know to start OpenCV, and like the basic format that you'll be using in OpenCV. And then we'll also learn how to draw things on OpenCV, how to crop it, and some cool things. Then we'll go into intermediate level, which is basically still no project, but just some more intermediate concepts in OpenCV, like warp perspective, uh, yeah, it's like warp perspective, for loop logic, OpenCV for loop logic, and etc. And how you can use OpenCV to, like how you can use if conditions with OpenCV and etc. Then we'll go into our beginner project. Some we'll be doing some cool projects. Uh, and I'll tell you what those cool projects are in a second. And in our advanced projects, we'll be doing some more advanced projects with all of the things we've learned. And I'll be giving you some challenges that you can do. And I'll, I won't reveal the answers to all of these challenges until the end of the course. So, what are some, what are, here are the, uh, here's the text-based version of our uh, course timeline. So, first of all, our basics, which is accessing an image, reading and storing multiple images in, uh, in OpenCV, accessing a video and live feed from our webcam, drawing shapes, resizing and cropping images, writing text, OpenCV functions, uh, some cool OpenCV functions, and last but not least, a face filter project. Then we'll be moving on to basic OpenCV for loop logic, and then we'll join multiple images, so like basically a panorama. Then a warp perspective slash document scanner uh, project. We'll be doing shape detection using the candy edge detector, tracking an object, object detection, and face detection. And we'll also be learning about contours and all uh, all we'll be doing some more cool things with contours in the project intermediate uh, section of the course, where we'll be doing better and more accurate object detection using YOLO v3, QR code reader, smart attendance system, facial landmark, and creating facial filters, custom object detection, object size detection. And then last but not least, in our project advance, we'll be doing an angle detection, traffic sign detection, air painting, OpenCV Sudoku solver, automatic sheet grader, and a whole section on media pipe, which is basically a Python which is basically a Python library that you can use, uh, not a Python library, a machine learning library developed by Google you can use to do really cool things. And you can, uh, you can use OpenCV to do those things. So that's our uh, class or course timeline and we'll all the projects we'll be doing. And I might add some things here and there in the middle and shift some things around, but that's basically like the overview. So 
Now, what will we need? Well, we'll need Python. And you might be wondering, why do we need Python? Well, do you remember when I said, guys, that OpenCV was an open source library or package? Now, what this means is that OpenCV cannot be used by its own. You need to have another full-fledged programming language that you can use uh, that you can use OpenCV with. So OpenCV is just like an extra thing that you add to an already really cool programming language. So it's not like the main thing, it's just uh, an extra thing that you have to use uh, with a made programming language. So one example of this would be like an independent clause and a dependent clause, because that's the thing that comes to my mind. So an independent clause just makes a sentence better, right? But can you use a dependent clause alone? No. So, like, OpenCV would be our dependent clause, whereas Py uh, Python would be our independent clause because we will be using OpenCV with Python, not OpenCV alone. So, like, Python helps OpenCV run and everything. Now, you can also use OpenCV plus C plus with C++, but I think Python is easier. We'll need pip to install some packages. And last but not least, we'll, see we'll need OpenCV, which we'll be installing in our third video. So Python, what we'll need to know. So these are just some topics that you'll need to know uh, just to make sure you know them. It, and if you don't, then we'll discuss those topics in our next video in our uh, really quick Python crash course. So don't worry about that. And one other thing we want, uh, I want you to know, guys, is that we'll be using PyCharm as our text editor. Now, you might be wondering, well, I can learn, I can run uh, Python on Visual Studio Code. And yes, you can run Python on Visual Studio Code and many other um, many other text editors. Now, my only request is to not use a web-based text editor for to, uh, while using OpenCV because that's not going to work. So you can use any text editor, but I would recommend PyCharm because downloading packages using PyCharm is really easy. And I just feel like PyCharm is a really good text editor to write Python code in. So we'll be using PyCharm. You can use any text editor you want. I just recommend PyCharm. So here are the four basic concepts we'll need to know uh, the basic Python concepts we'll need to know to start OpenCV. And again, if you know these, then you can skip the next video in this course. If you don't, then please do watch the next video in the course, or the second video. So you'll need to know how to print things in Python, lists in Python, functions in Python, if conditions, slash while loops in Python, and two more things that we'll discuss in our next video. Like, you'll need to know for loops, and uh, you'll need to know arrays and dictionaries. So if you, if you know all of them, then you can skip the next video. If you don't, then please do watch the next video. Now, guys, another thing, uh, so that's basically, like, the explanation of lists. We won't be needing that right now because we'll be learning about lists and all those other things in our next video. So before we, before I end this video off, guys, what I want, what I want to, uh, you to do is I want you to install both Python and, P Python and PyCharm. So first of all, before you install Python, I want to make sure that you already, you don't have Python already installed because if you have Python already installed, then if you download Python again, there's going to be some errors. So what we want to do is, let me clear that. So we want to open command prompt if you're on, um, if you're on Windows and terminal if you're on a Mac. Now what we're going to do is we want to check if Python is already installed on our computer, guys, on our machine. So we'll type Python space dash dash version. And then you can see I have Python 3.8.8 downloaded. But if you have Python uh, 3.8 or 3.9 or anything along the lines of Python 3.9 downloaded, then you should be fine. But if you have anything, uh, if you have anything, either Python 3.7 or anything lower, then please do delete that version of Python and download the download either Python 3.8 or 3.9, uh, Python 3.8 or 3.9, because you can only use Py uh, uh, OpenCV with that version of python so i would recommend using python 3.8 or 3.9 so if you already have python installed then that's great now i'm pretty sure if you have python already installed you should have pip installed but let's just check so in order to check if you have pip you say pip or pip space dash dash version now just a second you can see i have pip 21.0 point uh 21.0.1 installed but if you don't have if you don't have pip installed but you have python installed then there's actually a little error in your command prompt that you will be able to fix if you change a couple of things uh 
if, if you change a couple of settings on your computer. Now, if you also have Python installed, but it says Python is not identified as an external or internal command or anything an along the lines of that, then that means that you either have Python not installed or there is a small error in your computer um, with Python. So if you want to fix that problem, guys, I'll make a video of that because that problem is actually very common. So please do check out that video to fix that problem. But if you have everything working, then that's great. Uh, yeah, that's great. If you have everything working in Python is downloaded. Now just make sure that you have Python 3.8 or 3.9. Now the next thing, now if you don't have Python guys, then in order to install Python, what you're going to do is you are going to go to a new tab and type in, simply type in python.org or dot .organization. Now after you type that, you should come in a website like this. So you can click on download. And now you should see a bright yellow button that says download Python 3.9. Now you can download Python 3.9, but before you download Python 3.9, I just want to say that I would recommend using Python 3.8 because there are far more uh, there are far more packages that you can use with Python 3.8 than 3.9. But it's really not going to make that much of a difference. And Python 3.8 is still um, it's still alive and online, unlike Python 2.7, which is end of life. So both 3.9 and 3.8 have bug fixes. So they're both alive, so you can choose any Python version you want. Just make sure it's either 3.8 or 3.9. So if you want to download Python 3.9, click on the bright yellow button over here. If you want to download Python 3.8, scroll down over here, click on Python 3.8.9. Then you could scroll down, guys, and over here you can choose whatever installer you want to choose. So if you're on Windows installer, you can choose either two of these. If you're on Mac, you can choose this one, and etc. So that's basically how to install Python, guys. So before we leave, I just want you to install PyCharm 2. So in order to install PyCharm, you type in PyCharm. And the first link you see should be uh, the link that you can use to download PyCharm. So we click on that, guys. Then you click on Download PyCharm. Now, please hear me out. This is very important. Please do not click on the professional version or the bright blue, bright blue button that says Download because the professional version of PyCharm actually costs money. And you only have a free trial of seven days, I think, and after that, you will be charged money. So please don't click on the professional version of PyCharm because the community version of PyCharm will be more than enough for our, for our um, PyCharm project or journey. So I want you to download the community version. And as you can see, PyCharm is available for both Mac OS and Linux. Now you can use another uh, text editor other than Python, but my only request is that you use a text editor that is not web-based. So like, uh, I think REPL.it or, yeah, REPL.it, it's not going to work. So yeah, my only request is do not use a web-based Python editor. So just use either PyCharm, PyCharm or Visual Studio Code or something that's not web-based. So I recommend using Python, you click on download, and the reason I'm not downloading is because I already have PyCharm downloaded. So as you can see, if I type in Py, you can see I have PyCharm downloaded. So please do download PyCharm, and yeah, that's it for this video. So that's it for this video. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and in our next in our next video, we will, be, we will be learning about the basics of Python that you will need to know in order to learn OpenCV. Now again, if you know uh, if you know all the concepts I just talked about in Python, then please do skip that video and go on to the third video. But if you don't, then I do recommend watching that video because you will need to know Python in order to learn OpenCV. So again, that's all for this video. If you like this video, please do uh, smash that uh, like button. And if you want to stay updated for my next videos uh, on this course and other cool projects you can do with OpenCV, math, uh, other coding languages in Scratch, then please do subscribe to the channel and turn on bell, uh, the notifications because you'll be alerted whenever I launch a new video. If you have any recommendations or questions, please do put them down in the comment section down below. Again, I'll have all links to downloads and everything to downloads and the article I mentioned down below so you can check that out. Again, thank you for, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.